4 September 2020 and today I want to bring to attention a very interesting lecture that was given by Professor Jonathan Moyo on the site YouTube channel and uh, the lecture was for approximately two hours and 16 minutes and it was a very interesting lecture in that Professor Jonathan Moyo looked at the crisis in Zimbabwe in a lot of and he also gave some solutions his proposed solutions on how to solve the crisis in Zimbabwe so I'm going to quickly summarize for you what he said and then I'll conclude probably by playing you a small snippet of what he said is the problem in Zimbabwe so specifically I want to focus on the issue of the South African delegation. So Professor Jonathan Moy says, Zimbabweans are looking for quick fixes. And this is not solving the problem. The problem has been with Zimbabwe since independence. And he defines the Zimbabwean crisis as an economic and political crisis. And he says a crisis is the lack of a consensus. So when people do not agree, then we have a crisis that is now showing in Zimbabwe through a lot of people living in poverty. For example, 7 million people are now in need of food aid. And he says this crisis is because of six unresolved questions. And the, the questions are, he gave them as the, the national question. That was the first one the economic question, the equity question, the law and order question, the sovereignty question, and the consent question. So Professor Moyo said the consent question is the one that has caused the crisis in Zimbabwe. This is the crisis. In fact, this is the crisis in Zimbabwe. And he defines this crisis as how do you get into office and out of office? And in the case of Zimbabwe, the voter is no longer in control of who gets into office and who doesn't. Therefore, the army in Zimbabwe, the defense forces, has now taken over and makes this decision of who goes into office and who doesn't go into office. So. He's saying Idim Nangagwa is in office at the moment as we speak, but he's not in office because of the consent of the people. He's in office because of his own support from the army and also has taken over things like the economy and he's now giving, he's running a tribal system so a patronage system where people from his tribe are actually in charge as we speak. He, he gives them access to these resources that he's got. And these are the resources that is making him manage to run the country without the consent of Zimbabweans. He also spends a lot of time talking about the rigging that happened in the 2018 election. But he said after the election, Nangagwa has gone further and he has managed to take away the votes that were given to Nelson Chamisa's party, the MDC Alliance, and these votes has been handed over to Toxan Kupe's party. And he calls this the losers, the people who have lost, now have the, the votes which people gave to Nelson Chamisa. And Professor Joyo takes a lot of time talking about the recall provision and how it was sneaked into the constitution, but it actually needs to be challenged because it was not supposed to be there. He says the drafters of this constitution were sleeping on the job. So this is a very detailed interview. Professor Jonathan Moyo speaks about a lot of things in this interview. And when we look at the South Africans, he says the South Africans are now coming to Zimbabwe 
because the problems that are in Zimbabwe are spilling over into South Africa and they want a solution. And we might end up with a, a GNU, a first GNU in Zimbabwe, which is led or which is negotiated or mediated by the South Africans because they want a solution to their own problems in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. Now, I want to go to the issue of G40. He answered the question of G40. Because G40 does not exist. There's no political formation called G40 in Zimbabwe. Zimbabweans like to label anyone. So they give someone a label, but they don't call that person by the name they call themselves. And he says, what people say is G40 is actually former ministers that are also Zimbabweans and have a right to speak about the issues that are happening in Zimbabwe. Then when we go to the solution, Jonathan Moyo says the solution in Zimbabwe must be the voter defending their vote. And he takes a lot of time explaining how Zimbabweans are the only people that will let a situation like what is happening now happen in Zimbabwe. And he says Zimbabweans should actually be defending their vote and making sure that there is no theft of their vote. This is when a solution is going to come to Zimbabwe. So what I want to do is I want to try and play for you quickly this um, video. There's a portion that I want you to, to listen to. And this is on my brother, uh, Zenzel Ndewele site youtube channel i'm sure you can go there and watch the full video it's two hours and 16 minutes but i'll quickly play for you the portion that is very interesting to me so let's try to play that portion for you and let's see whether we'll manage so let me play this portion here which is the right to consent uh, i mean the consent question which is based on the right to vote why are people not agitating around this? When and how are Zimbabweans going to settle the question about the means for getting into power, the means for exiting power? Do Zimbabweans think that they will always resolve the question for getting into power through mediation by external forces, through facilitation by external forces? Do Zimbabweans think that they will govern best through forced GNUs, through forced NTAs. When a voter makes a wrong decision, so to speak, in terms of the performance of whoever they would have voted for, that is democracy. You cannot justify corrupting the democratic process on grounds that you don't like the people or the persons who have voted for, especially when or if you did not submit or subject yourself to the to the election so this is a fundamental question and this is a, a, in my view a very important question because if zimbabwe cannot respect the right to vote if zimbabweans cannot fight and defend the right to vote by ensuring that votes cast are the same as vote counted how then do they expect the system or anyone to respect the individual as a citizen? Right. So I think this is the, the portion that I wanted you to, to listen to. And it's clear that Professor Jonathan Moyo has thought very much about this topic. He has written a book about the elections, the stolen elections in Zimbabwe. And I'm sure the book has been published. I've not read the book myself, but I want to one day read the book and summarize the key points. And the book is called Excel Get. I want to read that book, summarize the key points, and look at the way he's looking at this. It's a very unique way of looking at the problems in Zimbabwe. And the, it's clear that Zimbabwe has got a lot of issues and Professor Jonathan Moore is one of the smartest brains who is also advising Nelson Chamisa. So I hope that 
this comes out in, in the end in, in, in terms of the strategy that Nelson Chamisa takes to try to get back in office. Because what Professor Jonathan Moy is basically saying is that we cannot go to 2023 before we solve the 2018 election issues. So he's saying, instead of saying, let's forget about 2018, Zimbabweans should actually still continue to look at what went wrong in 2018 and restore Nelson Chamisa to his rightful position. He's saying Nelson Chamisa won that election. There is evidence in the ZEC server that Nelson Chamisa won the election. ZEC wrote to parliament and admitted that they did not follow the process in the election. And therefore, Zimbabweans should defend the 2018 elections instead of looking for short term solutions like the NTA, like a GNU. So he's against the GNU, which he says the South African delegation is probably going to push for. So I hope that you benefited from this summary. I'll keep bringing you these summaries. I'll bring you another summary later on this afternoon. And we'll keep talking. There are a lot of things happening. And the problem is most of our people are not on the internet. So I have to summarize for people so that they can get this information and then they get it on WhatsApp and people can also get to understand what is going on without obviously being on the internet. So if you want to receive our WhatsApp uh, videos, then you can contact me and we can always talk about how we will send these videos to you. So thank you very much for watching. If you're able, please go to the site YouTube channel and watch the full two hour video. Otherwise, this is a summary of what Professor Jonathan Moy said. This is the second summary I've given you. I gave you another one of the six uh, people who are collecting in Zimbabwe. I gave that last week, so you can also look for it on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on WhatsApp, send it to as many people as possible. If you're watching this on YouTube and Facebook, please like comment and share.